Five days after the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump, the Republican-led House Judiciary Committee unveiling an allegation by a whistleblower that the Secret Service, quote, did not have proper resources for President Trump's campaign event. Because of the just concluded NATO summit in Washington and an appearance by the First Lady in Pittsburgh, the committee's chairman, Ohio Republican Jim Jordan, writing in part, the committee has several unanswered questions about the failures that led to the attempted assassination of a president, the first in over 40 years. The Secret Service director, Kimberly Cheadle, has been on the hot seat since the shooting. Four Republican senators confronting Cheadle on Wednesday night at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, accusing her of not being forthcoming enough about the security lapses that led to the shooting. I'm prepared this morning to call on President Biden to to fire uh, to Director Cheadle. The top House Republican, Speaker Mike Johnson, saying that it's time for her to go. We almost lost the life of a former president. This is new information is emerging about the shooter, 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks. Investigators briefing senators on Wednesday said that Crooks visited the rally site twice before the shooting and that his cell phone had images of both Trump and Biden. But what still remains a mystery is his motive for this shooting. I believe evil is what overcame Thomas. Crook's former guidance counselor shared his recollections of the shooter. Thomas was a quiet young man, intelligent, stayed to himself. And next week, House committees will ramp up their investigations into the shooting. On Monday, the House Oversight Committee will grill the director of the Secret Service. And on Wednesday, the head of the FBI is set to appear before the Judiciary Committee. In Washington, I'm Evan Kozloff, Spectrum News.